So we go with the flow. Just love me harder. Have no mercy on me. Just tell me louder. If you're loving me, just love me harder. Have no mercy on me. Tell me louder. If you're loving me. Hello everybody and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Emma. I'm a 19 year old teen mom to my beautiful daughter, London May, who is a little 17 month old baby girl. As you can see, I'm kissing on her right now. But anyways, if you're new, stop, hit that subscribe button so you're a part of the family and make sure to turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time we post. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know we love you guys so much. And thanks for coming back to another video. It truly means the world. Today I'm going to be sharing our morning routine. And as most mornings start, we wake up. London likes to nurse in the mornings. She's in our bed today because she did not feel good last night. And so she slept with mama and dada. She just had a little toothache and I think some growing pains, but she is doing good, do not worry. And after I nurse her, I just give her some cuddles, some tickles, get her little squirms out. I love just being with her and spending time with her. It's the best thing about being a mom. And after we get all the kisses in, which you can never have enough kisses, it's now time for a morning diaper change and London is very independent, so she has to help her mama out and grab stuff. Or, you know, sometimes not so helpful, but I still like to let her help me because she enjoys it. And then I just grab a little clear hair tie. I will do her hair later, like officially, but I just want her hair out of her eyes, so I just tie it up real quick. And then London loves to throw away her diaper, so she's running into her room to throw away her diaper. I think this is so cute, and she looks forward to this every morning, and it just melts my little mama heart. It seems like she's actually becoming a little human, doing daily tasks, it's awesome. Now I make myself a drink for London and I's walk. I know how hard it can be to get your daily dose of greens in, but with my Teamy Greens Superfood Blend, it makes it easy. This has matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass. In case you're curious what, what matcha is, matcha is basically green tea. One cup of matcha is equivalent to three cups of green tea as far as antioxidants. So it is very healthy and it is delicious. I look forward to this every morning because I know I'm feeding my body the best ingredients. It also has 16 superfood ingredients. It's 100% plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy, and soy-free. So it is without all of those artificial nasties. We have all the nutrients, all the yumminess. I swear to you, this tastes like a Starbucks drink, but you don't feel as guilty drinking it. You can actually make this into a smoothie. You can just add water to this. You can make it into a juice, porridge, however you wanna do it. I personally like to do the almond milk, the vanilla almond milk, just because I like my drinks super sweet and delicious, but I am excited to try smoothies and different stuff. But for right now, that's my go-to. Then I'm just gonna fill up London's water because she needs to be hydrated too. But please, please keep the secret. Do not tell her that my drink better than hers. She likes her water. <laughs> so once I have our drinks ready to go, I just pop it in the stroller. Now we're getting ready to go on our walk. And I just wanted to say, if you guys do wanna check out Teamy Blends, they offer a lot of different stuff as far as skincare, as far as different protein powders. Make sure to go to the description of this video and use our code emmat 25 for 25% off your entire purchase. Thank you so much Teamy Blends for sponsoring today's video. And guys, we are off. I have my drink, I have London's drink, and we are ready to rule the world. Every day I ask London if she would like to sit in her stroller or just walk, and it depends. <laughs> she always has a different idea of what she wants to do, and sometimes she'll say she wants to sit in the stroller, and she'll end up walking, and I'll be pushing the stroller and <laughs> chasing her around, but that's toddlerhood for you. As we walk, we point out everything, and London's favorite things to see are rabbits, lizards, and birds. They make her so excited. After we went on the walk, London said she was not quite ready for breakfast, so that meant it was playtime. And we followed Marie Montessori's method for playing and learning. I will have some articles linked down below and some of my favorite YouTubers because the whole Montessori lifestyle is a lot to explain. 
And honestly, I do not think I'm the person to explain it because like I said, there's a lot to it. But one thing we do is we play with wooden toys and I talk to London differently than I would say most parents talk to their kids, especially because London is so young. I always am chatting with her, telling her about what we are gonna do, explaining what color the cars or toys we're playing with, explaining why we're doing this, just talking through our actions and our reactions. Do you want to put the ant in? We are the playing ant? something that is challenging that day. All of these toys Here's aren't I've played with them a million times. Caterpillar. But if she is getting frustrated, I like to Mama. encourage her Here's and help bee. her persevere buzz, because life's not always going to be easy. Mama. Yeah. I wanted you guys to hear that. I love that she is now putting together sentences and it's not just one word like open, it's mama open or mama outside and she's just starting to connect the dots even more and that is so rewarding as a parent just to see their little minds work and to see what you're talking about, their understanding. When she's done playing with one toy, I kind of move the other one to the side so she can just focus on the task at hand and with Montessori toys, there's always a task they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> homegirl has stimulated her mind and her body has gotten its wiggles out I like to head upstairs and put her in her high chair with some sort of food today it was Cheerios just to keep her busy while I can get started on breakfast and she's not running all over the place and for this breakfast we were just going to have some eggs I first sprayed some oil just so the eggs wouldn't stick we love all kinds of eggs but We've been loving over medium eggs. London really loves those. And look, I dropped my shell. And, mm, it happens sometimes. Real life, ladies and gentlemen. And I just made an egg for me and an egg for her. In the mornings, I'm not super hungry, but I do try and get myself to eat something. And we have a secret ingredient for the eggs. Are you ready? Spinach! We love spinach, and it's a great source of greens. And London loves it. She's such a good eater, and I love that I can get her greens in like that. Now bread, this is Dave's Killer Bread, 21 whole grains and seeds. Super healthy bread. I think this is the best bread on the market. It has fiber, protein, olive, ale, omega, whole grains, a lot of stuff. And then just to add a little more protein, I get some peanut butter in there. This is just like a natural peanut bread butter, you know, you get the drill. And this is my breakfast. I also got a little yogurt and then I'm filling up London's water and making a mess because this cup is really hard to fill. This is an overview of her breakfast, strawberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, the bread, the egg. And then if you notice how she doesn't have a sippy cup, again, Montessori, um, I try and have her drink out of a regular cup. And then I also give her a fork. Sometimes she loves using it, other times she doesn't. This is the remaining food she didn't eat. And then I just clean everything up, do some dishes. London is going through a growth spurt, so she definitely has been eating more than she usually does. It's interesting, you never know if she's gonna eat barely anything or eat our whole fridge. After breakfast, it's my least favorite part. I think a lot of people can agree with this and that is doing the dishes and just cleaning up in general. But look, I made it sparkly clean. I do have to admit though, it is so nice to have a clean kitchen, clean house. It is so gratifying. I love it. It makes it worth cleaning. You're like, I accomplished this. I did this. Mom win. I'm the best. You get it. What's it? You at this owl? What's an owl say? Ooh. Ooh. Good job. You so smart. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little London intermission. She is so cute. That is what she is doing while mom is cleaning. She's making owl noises. I love her so much, she's the best. <laughs> and then after breakfast, it's time to brush her teeth. I like to give her her toothbrush first so she can get in there and brush. And then this is my everyday stuff I use. I'm just giving you an overview so you can see and London just sits there while I brush my teeth and brush her teeth. Also that handle that's closest to her is just cold water. So I let her turn it on, I'm not worried about it. And also I'm always right by her. I don't, you know, go leave her on the counter. I'm always right there to catch her. And brushing her teeth 
sometimes it goes really well and sometimes it doesn't. I guess that's just toddlers in general. You never know. You never know what how they're best? gonna do. Then it is time to read. I love reading to London. It has always been one of my favorite parts of motherhood. I started reading to London when I was pregnant with her and I really enjoyed it. And then when she was a newborn, we would also read to her. Reading has always been a big part of my life because everyone in my life always read to me and I really enjoyed reading books and having people read books to me. And my dad and I, we would read the magic Treehouse series and we would act out what was going on in the book and that's one of my absolute favorite memories with my dad. We would have so much fun. We would go outside and we would go in the hammock and travel to what, wherever they were in the book and it was just a ton of fun. So I want London to have the same love for reading as I do. Shh, the park is so much fun. You want this one? Oh yeah? Uh -huh. What? You want to play with the animals? <laughs> a cow. Moo. You want chicken? What does a tiger say? Good girl. What does a chicken say? Bakum, bakum. Good job. What does a dog say? Good job. What does a pig say? Good girl. A pig's hard to do. What does a cow say? Mm. Yeah. Moo. Yeah. Moo. I don't know what a giraffe says. Um, um, what does a fish say? Good girl. What does a elephant say? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> More bubbles. <gasps> London and I just headed outside and did a sensory activity which was blowing bubbles. London loves to be outside. Whatever we do outside, she is More bubbles? so happy, especially bubbles. As you can hear, she's having a blast. Mommy, you're really kind of blowing them. <laughs> Slowly, slowly. Watch, do it slow. Look it, look, look, Lindy. Well, that's so weird. Maybe because it's old. You ready? Oh, there's two. Got pop, pop. <laughs> ready, Lindy? <gasps> look at all the bubbles. Behind you, behind you. What a surprise, London decided that she wanted to blow the bubbles on her own. This is life with a toddler, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. They always decide that it is their turn to do it, which I love hey, seeing go. her do things on her own. <laughs> Good job! And it makes her so happy when she's able to do something on her own. She just gets so proud of herself, and I love seeing that, so I'm not complaining. Sometimes it can be a little tricky because maybe they can't do what you were doing, like if you're cutting an apple or whatever it is, but I always try to involve her in some way so she doesn't feel left out and she gets to do somewhat of what I am doing. Now I am just feeding London some plum organics, apple and broccoli organic baby food just as a little snack. I just kind of consider this like an applesauce but a healthier version because there's broccoli and it's organic and all that fun stuff. I like to give her a snack just so I know her belly is full before she goes to bed and then also she nurses to sleep so she has two little snacks and I love just laying with her and cuddling with her for a little bit but then it's time for work and by work I mean college. I attend college online and so here you just see me doing some homework for the week. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you're a part of the team and you can watch our family grow. And until the next video, guys, I'm sending all of my love and all of my positivity. We love you guys.